What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of Bandai's Gamera the Brave. And for this review, I'm joined by Ultrazilla Jr. That's right, you know why? Because Ultrazilla Jr. bought me this with his own money for my birthday. Thank you, Ultrazilla Jr. You're welcome. <laughs> very, very cool. You know, we said we were going to go to book off. Um, to check out if they had a Digimon Digivolving figure that he really wanted. Um, and he said while we're there, he'll buy a gift for you for my birthday. Um, so that was very cool. Um, and we happened to find a Gamera the Brave from what, 2006 or so? 2005? Eh, whatever it is. <laughs> um, which is one that I really rarely ever see in the wild. Uh, and Ultrazilla Jr. actually found it in the bins. So uh, that was especially very cool. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So taking a look at Gamera in full, he's in pretty good shape, I have to say. He's got a little bit of a like paint uh, like somebody got some like white paint i think on that and that um i well, think it's paint it's very weird to find yeah uh, but i can't get it off otherwise he's pretty good he had some dust on him but i i washed him like right there <laughs> but, but um, it was also kind of like scary because i thought that it might the paint might come off oh yeah ultra junior thought when i was washing him in the uh restrooms that uh his paint was gonna come off but it didn't and uh like i said pretty good shape otherwise there's no real like scratches or anything that i can see and this guy was just in the regular bins like so i was very 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 surprised we paid well you paid <laughs> how much for this it was 30 yeah 30 bucks so i think that's pretty good i've and seen I on ebay going 100. for a lot more than that i gave the person 100 oh okay but you got the change back yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah <laughs> but this guy looks great i am so happy to have him i'm really really stoked so uh his head sculpt looks really nice love the eyes green looking good black and white around it looking good eye ridges are very nicely done I love his little round little nose. And then on top here, it looks really very, very cool. Nice paint there. Lots of weathering and stuff, as you can see. You see, like, all the folds and wrinkles in his neck. The side of his face looks very leathery in a way. I like it. And then, like, this details here inside the mouth. Looks pretty good. Like, pinkish. The, the teeth look really good. I like them a lot. And big teeth look great, so... Overall, the head sculpt is very nice. Zooming out here. You see all of uh, this here looking great, right? Well, yeah. Also, it looks cute the way his mouth is. He's pretty cute, yeah, right? Nice. We, we took a pic that you can see on uh, my Instagram where we're all making pretty much the same thing. <laughs> also, it has uh, eyebrows. Yeah, his eyebrows. Well, I said eye ridges, you know, but oh, yeah, eye eyebrows. Eh, like those, but eyebrows. Yeah, you're right. Um, looking awesome. Like, lots of great paint on this guy. So, Especially so... In this. Section, right? In the chest. Mm -hmm. See, like, all the reds and the browns. It's it looks amazing. so good. All this shell looks like a real turtle shell. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the turtle shell momentarily, but the arms look really good. You can see the hands, the nails are painted. Nothing is scratched. Nothing. I, that is incredible. Well, it's only a little bit of white paint on the leg. Yeah, that's it. That was the only little blemish that I could really find was a little paint here, um, there and there. So that's pretty good. The nails look really good on the toes. The legs look really great. I always liked how this camera's legs looked. Uh, I think he's awesome. I really do. Look at all. It's very like um, elephant like. Yeah, because, like, it's big, stompy. Yeah. I mean, Gamera, it kind of sounds like an elephant anyway. Um, that sounds like a turkey, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it looks good, man. Like, you know, this whole piece looks fantastic. Going down here in the scratchy looks good, too. All of this work here looks fantastic. Also, Again, the feet look great. Yes. Also, the plates. The plates here, right? Yeah. 
Really, really What's good. What's red supposed to be? Uh, I can't remember what. I mean, it was kind of like that symbol. Remember in the movie, there was like um, the egg had a symbol too, actually, or something. Oh right, I actually never noticed that. Yeah, there was something like that. I, I don't remember. It's been a little while since we've seen it, but. Well, maybe that's just the inside of his body. Uh, maybe it's the inside of his body parts. I don't think it is. His tail looks really, really... It's actually... His tail is actually still a little wet. From when I washed him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But nice tail. Very nicely sculpted. And there you go. Here is his... Turtle shell. Yeah, Looking awesome. Edges. Yep. They are more painted towards the edges. And they look really good. Looks really, really good. Beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint. Again, I am impressed that this thing is not in worse shape. A lot of those uh, figures in the bins... Like where, like, the arms are taken off. Yeah, there's a lot of little damages to them. And this guy, for being in that... He should have been in the cases, I think. What cases? The, one, the glass cases. Oh, yeah. He, he was worthy of a glass case. I think they normally put the stuff with... Um, with the tags still that still have tags on it yeah. she, he, like, he didn't have a tag on him anymore uh but otherwise i think this is pretty good the proportions are great this is awesome like i like this better than the chogokin version which is the only other version of gamma the brave that i own um which you'll, you'll see right after this in the size comparisons um i like this better i think the paint is nicer I think the sculpt is nicer. I think the proportions are nicer. Sometimes a vinyl is good like that, you know? Less cuts in, for articulation help. And this era of Bandai was just like, pre like movie monster series, was like, oh, no, maybe movie monster series was out around the same time. I don't think this was part of that line. I think this was right before that. Um, I think this is really, really, really well done. So I really like it a lot. Thank you, Ultrazilla Jr., for that. So this is this turned out fantastic. And for articulation, Ultrazilla Jr. is going to do the honors. The arms move, the legs move, and the tail moves. Can you, uh, let's see, let's see those movements. Very cool. And how do the legs move? From side to side like that. Uh-huh. And the arms move up and down. Very awesome. So five points of articulation for Gamera. And for your size comparisons, here is a Gamera with a bunch of other figures you might have in your collection, including the Chogokin Gamera the Brave, which is the only other Gamera the Brave figure I actually have. So this one was very welcomed. And our final thoughts. Ultra Zildjian, why don't you uh, give me some thoughts first? What do you think of this guy? It looks really cute. Cute? Cute. Cute, yeah. Especially the head looks very cool. Uh-huh. Spikes. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I think, right, the head sculpt is amazing. It's really spot on Gamera the Brave. And the paint also, is amazing. I just can't believe it's in such good I shape. I noticed that the teeth are out the outside of the mouth and not inside. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's got the, like, kind of tusks at, at the end. They're like I more like that, elephant tusks. I thought that was, like, teeth. Yeah, not really. More like tusks, I guess. But... Yeah, this thing is awesome. I really like it a lot. Um, once again, I want to thank Old Brazil Jr. for getting it for me for my birthday. That was super sweet, really awesome. And um, this is, I, I feel like this was quite a fine for being in the bins uh, and the price that we found like, it at. Like, I think it should be like 50 or 60 in, in the glass. Yeah, um, well, that's what it's really going for on like eBay and stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. This is a pretty good find. And there you go, guys. I'm really glad to uh, have reviewed it. Hope you dug this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, please.